everybody, I just got a very quick vlog style video for you today because it's the first time that I'm using my Lamello Zeta on a job. That's coming up next. So yes, we're in a, a bit of a heat wave here in London at the moment, hence the attire. Uh, uh, also, uh, I'm shooting this on my phone, not because I'm being lazy or just because I particularly want to do a vlog style video, but because it's the only camera I've got that's not overheating at the moment. Even my big camera is overheating. Uh, uh, temperatures in London got, uh, and across much of the country today, got to 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, and even now at uh, almost five o'clock in the afternoon, it's 29 degrees in here. Um, outside, it's, it feels a little bit cooler because it's a bit of a breeze, but we don't get any of that in here. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I've got a, a big job on. I've just got back from holiday and uh, straight back into a load of work. I've got a big uh, wardrobe job, uh, three double wardrobes with top boxes to go into uh, up in North London. I've got to get these done this week. So I'm not really shooting much video on those. If you are a Patreon supporter, and if you are, thank you very much indeed. And if you're not, you might want to consider it. Uh, you may recognize a few of the bits and pieces in here because I have done a little sort of vloggy style build piece for my Patreon supporters. Uh, and if I do do anything uh, on the build of these, it'll probably be for my Patreon uh, supporters as well. Uh, but it is the first job that I'll be using my Lamello Zeta P2 on. And it's going really well so far. And I just wanted to take you through a little, uh, a few of the little bits and pieces. Of that. Let me just give you, I'm gonna to have to stop you and then swap cameras around. Just give you a quick uh, overall impression of how things are and what they're doing. Hang on a sec. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm in a whole forest worth of Sapili veneered MDF uh, all over the place. As I say, three big double wardrobes. One of these is particularly large, this one. Uh, is going into an alco it's 850 deep so that's a bit of a challenge that on the top box and the one on the right hand side as well the one in the center of this run of three double wardrobes is actually going up against a chimney breast uh, so that's more sort of normal sort of sizes so that's the one that i'm actually going to be whoops that's the one that i'm actually going to be showing you just now uh, and it really is very simple uh, uh excuse me very similar to how I would construct this with a domino. If I let me grab the grab the bits and pieces, then I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh yeah. So this is our Sapili veneered board. This isn't Sapili. That's the balance side. That's the Sapili side. The inside there, which is really lovely. Uh, and then this is the top and the bottom. But that's the base the other way around. And then we've got the two sides, the two sort of end pieces that will come up the side like this. And I, I tend to be, I've done a great job of edge banding all this uh, and I've drilled all the uh, shelf pin holes already so they're all ready to go. Uh, so really it's just a question of getting the, I don't know, I don't know what you call them actually, Ch slots I guess for the um, not the biscuits, the Climax or the Tenso uh, connectors. Uh, and one of the concerns I had before I got the Zeta was that obviously with the Domino, you've got registration pins on either side and the Lamello, or you just got to work off a pencil mark. Actually, <laughs> you can just use the edge of the fence on the end of the boards, and that's what I'm going to be doing with these. Uh, and it works extremely well, extremely effectively. And there's a couple of things that I really like about this YouTube, which I'll come to a little bit later on. Uh, but we're going to run through these now quickly. These are only small. These are only 525, 535 deep, I believe. And I'm just going to put one at each end. Uh, I'm using the Climax connectors, so the, the ones that lock. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to put the, the hole for the access hole for the, the locking hex nut uh, on the outer faces of these. Normally I put them on the inside and I'd cover them, but for these there's no reason not to because they're not going to need to be knocked down. They're, it's a permanent fixture. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on with those now. So just as before, I'll be putting mortises, slots, top and bottom on here and then in the ends. And as usual, you need to be aware of which face you're referencing off so you have to reference off the outside face rather than the inside face to make sure that they all match. Uh, but that's what we'll do. And it is extremely quick and easy, as you'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the base 
uh, yeah, start with the base, so I'm working on the outside face. Uh, and all I'm going to do, just as I did when I was working with dominoes, I'm just going to put this down on the bench. I'm going to hang one end off of it because I need to get access to both edges while I'm doing this. Uh, and then I'll pop a clamp in over here somewhere just to make, make sure it doesn't move uh, and really just sort of bop around all four cuts, all four slots. Uh, we cut these in the ends, obviously, and then the sides actually butt against that where they'll, where they'll join. Okay, so with the uh, ends of the top and bottom down, we just need to cut the corresponding slots in the sides. And just like when we're using a domino, uh, we'll plunge down into it. Uh, when I use the domino, I particularly like the dummy plates for this because it gave you a stable base. Uh, with the lamella, we actually get two fences with it. Uh, this fence is adjustable insofar as you can change the angle on it, but you can't adjust the height of it. So they give you, you actually get a sort of an auxiliary fence, and I just leave that in place when I'm doing these sorts of cuts because it gives it a solid basis on which to support the machine when you do those plunges. So let's crack on with those. Now, I mentioned earlier on, there was a couple of things that I really like about the Lamello Zeta system. Uh, and they're actually related. Uh, first of all, it's the same slot, regardless of whether you're using the Tenso connectors, the Clamex connectors, or the Bisco connectors. It's just the same slot every time. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. For example, I've got in the bigger, deeper wardrobes, I've got four fittings for those. And at the moment, I could put a Climax connector into all four of those. I could put Tensos into all of them. I could put a Climax at either end and Tensos in the middle, which is probably what I'm going to do. But it's entirely up to me how I do that. I could put Biscos in there and use them as, for alignments and just put screws in there. You, you know, uh, the, there's lots of flexibility with this. And the other thing is that even though they're not exactly centered like this, the fittings will go in either way with the Climax connectors. You know that you've got to drill a little a little access hole to get the hex screw in to get the little cam to turn. It doesn't actually matter which way round that is. Now, whenever I've used the uh, domino connectors, I've always put those on the inside for access because you always think, well, you know, what if they need tightening a little bit later on? But these are actually going to be permanently fixed. Um, they're going to be glued together and with tensors and with Clamex, so they're not coming out again. So I can actually put the uh, little access hole on the outside faces. There's no reason not to do that. 
but I don't have to decide that yet. I can actually leave it until we're at, on site before I drill those holes, because they'll work either way through whichever, you know, whichever side, whichever face of the board, it doesn't actually matter. As long as you can get the little hex key in there to twist it, uh, then that's really, really useful, really flexible. It means I don't have to make those decisions yet. The domino connector fittings, you've got to decide if you want to, because it's a, a different size domino, you need the 8mm doms for those, uh, for the knockdown connectors, uh, domino connect fittings. You've got to decide early on where you're going to put those, if you're going to use them all the way along, or if you're just going to use a couple or whatever else. Whereas with the Zeta P2 system, you don't have to make those decisions yet. Um, it's, uh, you know, so far early days, and certainly on this job, it seems to be going extremely well. It is very easy to use because of that flexibility. Um, it's not a problem working off pencil lines or, or just aligning the fence with the edge of the board. Uh, it all seems to be working out extremely well. So that's it uh, for the time being, I think. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, check out the video description down below where there's all kinds of useful links to handy dandy little bits and pieces. Don't forget you can support the channel through Patreon or through uh, PayPal direct donations. There are links down in the video description for both of those things as well. One thing I do not want you to do though is, uh, is mention those painted side tables <laughs> that are still in their covers waiting to be collected. Just don't ask, all right? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.